Hey, how's it going? Venom Man 20 here today. And we are still with Ray, uh, trying to show off some of his turtles. And I got to think, we've been showing you a lot of awesome turtles that you can keep as pets yourself, but most turtles require an outdoor enclosure of some sort. It's a lot easier to keep them, so you don't have to buy UV lights, etc. So with that being said, I'm gonna show you how he sets his turtles up, which I think is just amazing. Way better than any aquarium you can buy. Absolutely, anyway, get them outside. Get them outside as long as you can keep them out there, right? Uh, there's two types of pens you can make. You can make a pen that is like a pen, all right, low profile. That kind of limits you to as far as the type of plants you can put in there, but it's still quite suitable. But what I've done here is an enclosure that's large enough to handle shrubs and other trees and plants in a uh, fall. Um, what we have here, this is built out of pressure treated wood. You can paint pressure treated wood. If you don't, it eventually cracks and warps. We use a screening material. This is half inch uh, rat wire. Paint it with a roller of flat black, otherwise you won't be able to see through it. It'll be so shiny you can't see through it. This is the way to do it. And at the bottom, you want to have the bottom framed out with boards that serve as not only stability, but also a visual barrier for the turtles. You cannot have the turtles come across the wire, because they'll spend all the time trying to get out and they get hurt. And down below here, if you look down here, I've placed uh, pavers vertically on edge. Here, two, uh, four, two by eight by 16 inch pavers as a dig out barrier for the turtles to keep them digging out and also to keep the animals from digging in as well. Okay. And last but not least, you've got to worry about the top because anywhere you're at, you're going to have predators coming in, raccoons, possums, and such. If you come and look at it up here, we have a wire at the top. This will keep out everything. most everything they get in there. Uh, a lot of people have problems with rats, rats squirrels, and, turtle and, squirrels and chipmunks will get in there and they will hurt your turtles. This will help keep them out if you put this rat wire on top of this uh, two by three wire to have on top. So your plants, I've noticed, are, are some of them are in pots, almost up off the ground. Yes. Even though they're not up off the ground, they're just to where the turtles can't get to them. Why? Well, the just... reason is because in this enclosure, which has a lot of Asian turtles, some of the Asian turtles like to eat plants, and they seem to like some plants over others. They don't seem to eat the fern. They don't eat that mondo grass down there. But they do like to chew on the Chinese evergreen, which is a tropical plant. They do like to hit the leaves of palms. So I'll put them in pots and raise them up so you can't quite reach them. Okay. That serves that purpose. Then in the wintertime, pull the plants up if they're tropical and bring them inside. Okay. And then uh, what type of uh, palm? Let's, let's talk about the palm a little bit. Just step inside here. get in there um, to it. And as you go in here, you notice I have some logs laying in here. Snakes and lizards is. You know, we're not the only reptiles that like to hide all the time. Turtles love to go underneath the logs or you climb on top of them. These logs are perfect if you were to flip them over now, which we're not going to do that, but there'd be turtles probably sitting right there right now. Uh, the pond is a flexible wire. And it has uh, make mold filters. And uh, you have a GF, all the circuitry is hooked into a GFI outlet. So if something should go wrong, the turtles aren't going to be electrocuted or they're not going to get hurt. And water so you go wrong. Okay. And that's just like a, a tarp that you would buy, buy for like a koi pond. Pond miner is. Do you know how thick that is? Like the mill? Uh, I, I can't recall exactly. It's a it's a standard mill thickness. I can't remember what it is right now, but it's okay. called EPDM. Okay. EPDM is formerly used for roofing grub. It is a great pond raw liner. It's just sold for pond liners today. Yeah. That's some of the I always see the thicker the better. I mean, you know, some yeah. of these turtles. Try I can't to get tell you the mills right now, but there's a standard yeah. mill you want to go. And most of them are all the same size, same thickness. Now, I see that you have the filtration on this one instead of basket, but I've also noticed some of them, you just keep them up out of the deep water. Okay. This is important. This pump is a fairly strong pump. Okay. These pumps have been known to kill turtles. They get stuck on them and they can't get away. So I have it inside of a plastic milk carton with a screen top on and weighted down so the turtles cannot actually get to the pump. Okay. Turtles have lost feet. Turtle has lost their lives. By getting stuck, getting on stuck to the pump. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Okay, very awesome. And I do believe uh, if you check out our next video, we will actually have a video of what a biofilter is the type that you can make for, mm -hmm. for very cheap and very affordable. And they work great, as you can see. This water is pretty clear. Do a great um, job. Really so, do. so, yeah, we'll go ahead and show you that and so the next video if you stay tuned to check that out. Well, I do appreciate it. And uh, it's a beautiful turtle habitat. I absolutely love it. Um, well, thank you.